I ain't gonna lie. I wanna watch this. I wanna get to this shit right here. You feel me? I wanna get to this shit right here. You feel me? How y'all doing YouTube, by the way? Yeah, you that's watching the video. Like the video and subscribe, bitch ass nigga. I'm playing, I love you. <laughs> and follow me on twitch.tv slash Tina Wolf. Um, visiting the most um dangerous city in America by my boy Tommy G. You feel me? Now I've been seeing this shit and I wanted to watch this shit like a couple streams ago when it came out, but I like I forgot to. And I kinda was like, eh, but I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's check it out. So, you feel me? Let's check it out. We fucked with Tommy G over here. Last time we watched Tommy G, he had um he did a video on Punch Made Dev. You feel me? Um, which I heard that nigga's like getting like investigated. I don't know how true that is, but let's get into this shit though. You feel me? Let's just get into this shit. Swear to God. Swear to God, huh? The most dangerous city in the world. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna be honest with you, folks. The most dangerous city in the world. What the fuck is this quality? There we go. What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie. The most city, the most uh, dangerous city in America, Chicago. To me, this is just me. Chicago is the most dangerous city in America. I'm sorry. Am I being bad because I'm from Chicago? Maybe. But it's the most dangerous city. You feel me? I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground. Hey, the most G. dangerous city in America. I'm gonna eat my big fake dangerous city. You weren't here with that fucking man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, shout out St. Louis. I fought with a couple rappers out St. Louis. Well, only two. Murder and fucking, um, what's what's folks' name? He just got locked up. Uh, 30D Grammy, folk. I fought with 30D Grammy, folk. This has got locked up for a gun charge, though. St. Louis do get active, though. I did my research on St. Louis a little bit. Y'all niggas crazy as fuck down there. Shout out St. Louis. Y'all niggas really do be getting active down there. Y'all like, what, like, three, four hours away from Chicago, boy? Y'all niggas get it. Hey, St. Louis niggas get wild. <laughs> so low niggas. Hey, real D, you ain't here with that man. That's clear. Yeah, real deal, just main town. You bought this motherfucker right now. Four state. This is where it go down there. This is the town. Each year, I South make a trip SCL, to the most dangerous folks. city in America. Shit, you guys fucking got your after-school projects here, huh? Yeah, after projects right here. On a quest to speak with local residents and try and understand what it's like growing up in such a wild place. I once again find myself in St. Louis, Missouri, which one news source says is the city with the highest homicide rate in the world outside of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charged a man with murder for killing someone execution style in downtown St. Louis. Damn. This morning, St. Louis police are trying to- Like I just said about St. Louis, folks. Y'all niggas get active as fuck down there. I did my research on St. Louis a little bit. Like I said, the niggas get whack. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, SCL. Like, come on, folks. I did my research. I was like, ew. Because, like I told y'all, I listened to 30D Grammy and shit. And I was like, all right, let me see what St. Louis is about. And when I did my research, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, oh, okay, goddamn. Like, y'all niggas be dissing dead niggas. Y'all, y'all, you have a high crime rate. No everything. I ain't gonna lie. Chicago, St. Louis might be neck to neck. I don't know. Cause y'all niggas down there, y'all crazy as hell. Five teams. They are wanted for questioning in last weekend's mass oh. shooting downtown. Another weekend of violence raises concerns about downtown St. Louis. From three o'clock Saturday afternoon until three o'clock Sunday morning, crazy there were six hundred and thirty-nine calls for service. Take a look at the video of armed young people leaving a downtown loft yesterday morning. Mm. Another man openly carrying a That's gun in the downtown crazy. area. He just glanced up at the helicopter, back around to the vehicle, Let which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, isn't that wonderful? My son and I. Oh my God. I fall asleep to the lullaby. Hey, that's just some Chicago shit. Hey, Shamari. Y'all say hi to my little sister. Hey, Shamari. Oh, you being good over there. I'm phone and grab. Hey, if you from Chicago, that's shit normal. I just go to sleep that shit every day. Really? We from Chicago. That's where we went to sleep to every goddamn day, folks. Especially on the south side, folks. From the low end, from east side, west side, you just went to sleep to that shit, folks. Phone oh, great, you feel me? Five gunshots in the Thanks distance every night. Wow. In traveling to cities like Chicago, New York, L.A., Philly, I can say without a doubt that I see the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so hey, far in the trenches of St. Louis. I even Lots saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11 shit. toting automatic weapons. Today, we tap. Bitch, I know you lying. I saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 
Oh, look like fall. Oh my god, I thought this nigga said it was 10 11. I'm like, these niggas is not 10 11 years old. 11 toting automatic damn, weapons. Sad, Today, we tap in with St. Louis Ooh, locals making a name Drake's for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's Hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine off my mirrors. The remains of what got booked is coming in so quickly. Businessmen calling my phone. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trenches. And then we head to entrepreneur Heavy G's block. He's known in the city for selling exotic snacks and the world's most expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? $25. This cost $25? Yes. Join me as I what? hit the streets and look for answers on how to make St. Louis a more peaceful place. We're here in the outskirts of St. Louis. Before we get into the trenches in the most dangerous city in America, let's talk to the folks that live here and see what they think about it. So St. Louis has been ranked as the most dangerous city in America. Shamar, we are watching. As y'all see my little sister just asked. The most visiting, the most dangerous city in America, which is St. Louis, Shamaria, on phone and gray. You feel me? America for the second year in a row. Does that surprise you? No. 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 It doesn't because I know the stat. I don't like it. No. Wait. So statistically, St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Oh, damn. I guess Chicago ain't no more. I agree with that. We lost our mob a long time ago, which controlled the gangs. Our gangs have taken over. Are you a mother? Same thing with Chicago, all the And you feel concerned there. raising your kids in St. Louis? Where I raised my kids in the county. Area like this. What is it like raising kids in St. Louis? It's kind of scary. If you were mayor, what would you do? Or if you had a message to the mayor, what would you say? Start locking people up left and right. I try to find more opportunity for these kids to just to train their mind, just to keep. I like how the like. I know this is listen. I know this is weird, but I like how the white lady said just start locking people up left and right, and then the black lady, said, the black lady just said, "Oh, I'll just find try to find more opportunities." <laughs> White lady said, get them thugs get off the street. I am all about support for the for the youth. And I think that that's where we need to start having more activities for the youth. When I was growing up, it was a lot more things to do. In the last two years, 5% of the population of St. Louis has left. Why do you think that is? More and opportunity. Yes. We're, we're about to meet with a, a gangster rap crew that has a ton of guns on them. How do you reach those guys? You got to give them a better upbringing. I mean, you got to give them something to look forward to. That's kids looking at them like this. Yeah, let me tell you, let me put y'all niggas on game. Coming from the trenches, myself, I can tell y'all niggas, it really just boils down to this. Because a lot of niggas, like I said, hop into that shit because their brothers did, their cousins did, their daddies did. Like, they want to look up to their daddies and shit because, oh, shit, their daddy had, like, a tough-ass name. And it's like, they want to live up to that shit. Or, like I said, you just a product of your environment. Because a lot of niggas, you be, like, your little favorite gangster rappers that you listen to, folks, if them niggas would have grew up in the suburbs, them niggas wouldn't even be rapping, so. Let me tell y'all little niggas like a secret like of the trenches. Nobody wants to be from the trenches. Nobody. They might glorify that shell, y'all for the trip, but realistically, nobody. Like, I wish I would never grew up in the hood. I wish. That's why I hate when I see like little niggas be like, wanna be from the hood so bad. Ain't shit fun about that shit, folk. Niggas said you a wannabe casting that you just another nigga. Oh. Thanks, doobie. I don't know how the fuck I don't know how the fuck you get me and Castle Nat mixed the fuck up, but I, I guess. Shao Cat though. Phone the gray. Shao Cat. I'm white by the way. What the fuck you want me to do with that information? Why well, you said nigga? I mean fuck the fuck you want me to do? What you want me to hit your ass through the screen? The fuck? I don't care. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Damn, folks, you got me fucking off track. What the fuck was I saying? Damn. What was I saying? Oh yeah, but like I hate when people glorify that shit, folks. Because like Realistically, chat, like on some real white like, life shit, ain't nothing fun about growing up in the hood, folks. Ain't nothing fun about that shit. You see death everywhere, drugs, fucked up shit be happening in your ass on phone now. You feel me, folks? <laughs> hey, Shamari, <smart> chill. <laughs> but ain't nothing fun about that shit, chat. I'm a Ku Klux Klan member of Alabama looking for you blacks. Oh, shit. Let me get the fuck out of here.
Okay, he's gone, chat. Oh, shit. Shit it was a Ku Klux Klan member. What the fuck? Anyway, but yeah, chat. Ain't shit formed by growing up. I'm sorry, though, YouTube. I don't know what the fuck that shit was. Ignore that shit. I don't fucking know. Just goofies and shit. It's goofy nigga hours. So all the goofies pop up at a certain hour. Um, but you feel me, chat? Like, ain't shit from my growing up in the hood. You see death, drugs, violence, um, domestic violence. Like, you see everything, info. You feel me? Ain't nothing fun about struggling, not knowing when your next meal finna be, um, living in a house when there's no lights on and shit, um, no electricity and shit, right? No electricity, fucking no gas, none of that goof ass shit, fo. Ain't nothing fun about that shit. So think about that, think about that before you be like, oh my god, I wish I was from the hood or trying to act like you from the hood. Ain't shit fun about that shit, fo. At all. There's some fun moments, but at, I wish I would never grow up in the hood. I wish. For real. Anyway, let me stop. I'm chatting like a motherfucker. They're here. Back to the video. You know? Once we focus on the youth, then we will it's be able to yes. make the, a difference in the, the future as a whole. Stay focused. Stay positive and try to keep keep the idle mind going. I don't know what they go through. I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. And I am not a smart enough person to be able to help. Stay away from us. <laughs> Sure, like it. Those You're getting a little street. crazy. You gotta protect yourself out there. So the sponsor of today's video is Bulletproof Zone. They're helping us uh, keep protected. If you're somebody work, in a risky I job, mean, let's say- Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, can you really blame that nigga from where some shit like that going over there in like St. Louis, Missouri? Shit, cause, hey, <laughs> you doing a video over there, boy, in the trenches of St. Louis, you never know who, who the fuck gonna bend through that block and just start shooting at them niggas, folks. Oh shit, you better wear a fucking vest. Say your Amazon driver in the trenches, a post office worker in the trenches, or somewhere you just want to keep safe, have something in the house. Maybe you buy one for your office building and in case the worst happens, you buy one for a school in case the worst happens. Look, sure. it took me 10 seconds to put this on. I'm ready, I have an advantage. I'm prepared to live, I'm prepared to survive. This is their protect vest. It's lightweight, you can move around, you can hide it under a shirt. Hey, we Mark, never I want the worst to happen, account? but when it does, you want to be ready. Use, protect vest comes in level three protection that is available for children children's sizes for all levels of protection. Bulletproof zone, use my link in the description. Get something for you, your family, to stay safe. Use code, so I'm hey, y'all go get that shit. Cold dead hell a nigga playing, get off with some shit. 30 guns a night, exotic shit, I wake up picking blicks. Six whips in the back, five yeah. niggas skeet up. You look at places like this, and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? You have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. It's just a call, for, like I said, it's called a product of your environment. That's all it is. Like, you feel me? Again, it's not an excuse for motherfuckers to go around killing each other, shit, like he just said, but hey, man, you know? Imagine growing <coughs> up in absolute destruction. How did things get to this? What happened? You just can tell that we are tiptoeing on Trenchville. Tell the people Facts. what to expect from this area, what goes down. A lot goes down. A lot of these guys, man, they, they younger, so I found a little bit more eager to do the crimes, kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but. They're more reckless. More young. reckless, that's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video shoot and a shootout happened? And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something, they just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally had footage running with the camera, hearing the gun shots. It's crazy, man. Damn. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Cameramen in Chicago begin robbing on a daily basis, folk. Like, I just seen some shit about Polo G and his little brother, oh, he go by Trench Baby, robbed the cameraman, folk. That's one thing about Chicago, we, like, is like, one of the things we know for is like, niggas, if you're a cameraman in Chicago, you better keep a fucking pipe on you, because if you don't, them niggas might try your ass. They might all look cool, take what you, well, yeah, man, let's shoot this video, thanks for shooting this. Them niggas might rob your ass right after for all that camera equipment. So they can just start shooting that shit for free. Get one of their homeboys to hold the cameras. I'm telling y'all niggas. This is the type Keep of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Okay. Good to meet you, What's man. What's the word? Tell. This is a real spitter. You want a bar tell. spitter that goes that bar for bar Louis every single shit, song like he makes. This is the guy. Tell the people. Where we are right now. Right now, we really in the middle what of the, the horseshoe, aka the dipset for real, yeah. 5500 for real, for real. We got some more coming down, goddamn me. This feels shit. slightly sketchy, like it feels like things could pop off at any moment in a place. That's like St. This. Louis for you. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Everybody trying to be okay. a tap. What do you love okay, about so St. Louis? St. Louis? I love everything tap. about St. Louis. I ain't gonna fake it. I don't mean? wanna leave my city. Yeah, I love everything in my city from the food to the cars we drive to the phases we go through, all type of shit. You got the shoes with the tags still on them. Is that a 
toothbrush? Cool. Clean them off? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what's the it's mission, like, what's, what's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying to do in this city? Get signed, for real. Bring my city up out of here, for real. Be another Nelly, like, I'm trying to be better than Drake. And when you blow up, what are your plans? That's Let's good. just say you got See, a lot of my folks might clown that nigga for saying some shit like that. But, like, that's a good mentality to have. Oh, I'm trying to be better than Drake. Like, that's a good mentality to have. Even though me, me personally, I don't try to be better than nobody. My whole mentality is just like, I'm just trying to be the better version of me and just trying to be the next me. I'm not trying to be the next this or I'm trying to be the next this, folks. No, I'm just trying to be the next me, like me. Like, I want to be like, when I blow up this streaming show, I want people to be like, oh, yes, yeah, Tino Wolf. Not, oh, shit, he like this. Or like, he's like this streaming nigga. He like this streaming nigga. No, I just like, oh, yes, yeah, Tino Wolf. Like, see what I'm saying? That's just me personally. But again, that's not a bad mentality to have. Again, I know motherfuckers probably gonna clown I'm like, Duh, yeah, nigga, yeah, all right. But again, like, you feel me? Good thing he has some type of fucking motivation. He ain't trying to say he trying to be the next kingpin on some shit. Can I be your next video? If you hear Shamari and if you being good, you probably can. Dollars in the bank right now. What's your plan? Four, five million going dead on my rap. And the other million, I'm going to get a game some shit so they can have money cycling in. One really important thing as an American that we have a right to is the right to bear arms. How important is that in this city? Bro, I feel like at a very young age, bro, parents should be teaching their kids to how to use guns. Oh, these like these niggas actually think it's still for the gas. Parents. <laughs> these niggas say gills like girls. <laughs> Just like Memphis, motherfuckers. Should be able to, at any age, to teach your kid how to use a gun. Like, that's what they should be teaching in school. Mm -hmm. Not dumb ass shit that we not going to see when we get up out of here. You know, what percent of people around here you think have a gun? Realistically, 90% everybody Facts. got a gun. I ain't going to fake a real yeah. deal. So, and I'm going to tell you some other shit about the trenches, chat. Like, the trenches get so treacherous. Ah, you forget. You, you get it? The trenches get so treacherous. Not even, you may think, oh, yeah, only game-making ass, thug-ass niggas got guns. Oh, no. Niggas in the trenches, I thought there's so many niggas in the trenches that got pipes that are not on that shit. They just have that shit for protection because, hey, you could get robbed. Some nigga might run up in your house and all type of shit. You might get stained, fo. I'm telling you, folk. I'm telling you. <laughs> keep you a pipe, fo. I'm the grave. You ain't even got to be no game banging ass niggas. There's so many niggas that just keep pipes on them, folk. You never know what's going on. How happen. you grew up? What was your childhood like? How'd you get to where you are now? Regular childhood and on some St. Louis shit. I grew up with my granny for real on some little cool shit. Me too. She ended up passing away to cancer and shit. All After that shit, the nigga was by herself. That was at like 12 years old, for real. So, so you had no parents and no grandma from the time you were 12? Yeah, for yeah. real. If we elected you mayor of St. Louis, what would you do to make the city better, stronger, safer? It really starting the heart of the community, for real. You make a little change in one community, motherfucker need to actually be hands-on with shit. Like, get their hands dirty with niggas who been getting their hands dirty, for real. To me, a lot of the reason a lot of young men are reckless right now is almost just like a, for thrill-seeking. Kids are bored and they're shit, trying to really? do things. You know so crazy? That's like like the number one thing that's going on like right now. This new generation of like wannabe tough-ass niggas, folks. It just a lot of niggas just want to name it. A lot of niggas just do it for the thrill. Just saying, oh, yeah, I'm a killer. Or just getting respect from their hood and they gas shit just to seem they tough and say, oh, yeah, I'm a killer. I'm this. Like, they really have no big ass moment. It's just, they just do it. Because, right, like I said, it's like, it's like a drug. It's just a thrill because it's fun. It's all has to be chased with the uh, police foe, shoot niggas, block cell foe, standing over niggas. It's like, you feel me? The hoes love that shit. Come on, folks. It's for the you thrill of it. Name, yeah, man. like, motherfucker really want that rush. You got to think like, motherfucker sit at the crib all day on Instagram. That's real as fuck. Motherfucker, like, I want to do what they doing. That's hella real. Gentlemen, I'm going to need some help breaking That's down sad. some St. Louis slang. I just heard tapper. How right, what's a tapper? Use it in tap. a sentence properly. Be like, what's the word, tap? Oh, so it's like, foe. Like down in Chicago, like, what you want, foe? It's just they way of just saying, like, oh, what you, what you, like, what's, what's up, gang? Like, what you want, tap? Man, you a tap-ass nigga. What's you know? the word, tap? Oh, me. Great deal, God. We're about to tap Oh, God, slap. Oh, <laughs> Tommy tap? Which one? G-tap? Tommy tap? Which one? G-tap. Oh, my mama. G-tap. Yeah, we got oh, G-tap. Oh, yeah. G-tap. Nigga, on God. Hey. Real, real deal. G-tap. My soul. What's, What's the, the word? word? I hear people say, God damn me. God damn me. God on God. God damn me. On God. Swear to God. Nike girl. Swear to God. Was that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed his strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope. Just another day in St. Louis. Good 
Good to meet you. Them little monsters. Oh, God. Them little, and these are the shorties. You got the shorties. Let me tell y'all something. This shit, even though this shit's sad, see? But these be the niggas right here that be doing all the kill. Y'all think be like doing all the killing, like all these cities and shit. It be the shorties. Especially in Chicago. It don't be like the old niggas no more. It be the shorties be getting wild. These niggas, you may think, oh my God, this is so sad. But these niggas be quick to fucking take your whole fucking face off. <laughs> these be niggas doing the killing and shit and slide. They may look like, oh no, these niggas that kill shit. Trust me, these niggas be killing shit. Tell your ass up. Are you guys in middle Facts. school or high school? I'm in high school. Okay. okay. So we talked to people, citizens of St. Louis before we came here. And a lot of them said they're getting scared to live in the city. The violence is becoming too much. What do you think about those, what those people are saying? Cap. That's a cap, yeah. bro. Cause don't nothing happen to nobody that's just stand out the way. So basically you gotta have your hands dirty to- I mean, my nigga cool, but it's like at the end of the day, my nigga, it's something called stray bullets. Cause let's just say I'm right here, right? And there's a nigga right there too that you want so bad. And you just start shooting at the nigga that what? I end up getting fucking hit. You want to try to hit me. You was just trying to hit the other nigga. But you so thirsty to kill that nigga that you not fucking think. Because you just lost your mind. It's like, oh damn, let's go. There go that fuck nigga. Yeah, I'm on his ass. This thing called straight bullets. Who want to be scared? Imagine you your little kid playing outside shit. It happens in Chicago all the time. Kids literally just be playing outside. Innocent ass motherfuckers. They end up getting hit by bullets. Because they trying to get another nigga. You know what I mean? Little kids and babies die in Chicago over that shit. Come on, folks. Half things happen. Nah, because you could be a bystander and get hit. If I wanted like to buy a gun, gun, how easy would it be to find one and how much do I got to pay? It's Ooh, easy, right? You know what's so gross? Uh, I'm sorry. I know I keep fucking pausing. I'm sorry. It just, I want to get my thoughts out. Okay? It's, it's actually true. That's facts. It's so easy to get a gun from anywhere. You like, if you from the trenches, if you know, you know. Like, you may think, oh, yeah, it's hard. No. Literally just ask around for you can find a pipe just like that. Oh, all right, for how much you want one for? It's not super rare. Super, no, you be saw you saw these guns. These niggas got now. These things are Drake switches, ARPs, all these automatic chop. It's not hard. It's not hard. just ask around. You get a pipe just that same fucking day. All right, here you go. Same right now, full state. It's hard. <laughs> See, what's the average? And age? right, if he really wanted that pipe, he would have gave him stack. If he really, really want that pipe, he would have gave it to him for a whole stack. Age a kid touches their first gun around here, bro. I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it. Like all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn oh, right. I ain't gonna fake it. When my grandma passed away, like I told you, like that was a big thing on on my list. Like I had to graduate. That we finna go to the little place That's where I good. shot. Right, hey, come on, tell. Got, got diamonds in on the west, so ass. My bitch, they send for Ali Bay, stay safe, and she praying for me. B boy, 45 ACP, oh. went deep in this 3.0 T. New boy, I think, get up the street, we can't tap you. He watching all the perimeters. Local fresh. It's on gangland. First game. First game here? Yeah. So the Bloods came here, set up shop. Yeah. When was that, like yeah. 1960s? Late 80s, beginning Late 80s. of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see. You messing with me? No, I, oh God. Certified uh, Trapper did that to me during our interview where he faked go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um, <laughs> you see some shit or what? No, that's my little brother is bad. Oh, okay, you looked like you were, uh, you looked like you were about to go Navy SEAL mode on us. When I see all the, the numbers of deaths, it makes me really Again, sad. Like see, I said, but AJ, I see a lot of young men that have potential that never got to live that potential. Mo, you got any bars for us? All right, now, all right, now, all right. Look at my glizz, look at bro glizz, and they both came from smacking. We Damn. hit the south in different wheels because we just swapped the traffic. Put new ass on VOTP comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't her from when last we seen got hit this shit no more. Look, they cover up they ears. Yo, that's fucked up. Got hitting this shit no more. You can't fuck. That's fucked up. I don't let him okay, fuck. Damn. Mesh bees on the flyway make them think you it's fast. They watch they lose. Mesh suppress don't hurry. Bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep Drake with 60 think I'm fearless. That tough guy act the sickness. Luckily, Drizzy a cram. Chasing shit. Booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. Burn them car. No, we got some stupid. They say fast and free. GT stinker. No key USB won't see it for you. Hurry. Taz pick me up. Show different time. Say what you was doing during. I don't know nothing. I can't even spell my right, name if y'all was curious. Lil bro snatched scat pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, yeah, stern. I see that. Oh god, my mom. Oh, okay, so one thing you said lag. in that song. Who they look cool on my end? That's what we call unmarked um, police cars. Like the yeah. They be in every unmarked um, cars, like the same type of car you rode in, just ten. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression.
Christian. The fucking real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say <laughs> drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What do you think about that? Bro, drill music is just for a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bro. Real deal, bro. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a, a positive impact on the world? Yeah. A tapper is a motherfucker who don't get no fucking. They really trying to be they self for real. People can listen to music and it's up to you what you want to do with it. I can listen to your song and I can go lift weights. I can listen to your song when I'm on a road trip. I can listen to your song and beat the shit out of somebody. We all have the choice of what we do once we listen to the song. That's true, because at the end of the day, you control what the fuck you do at the end of the day because ain't nobody telling your ass to go out there, go pick up a gun, go kill a nigga. Because, I mean, even if you listen to a song and it, and it motivates you to go do that, at the end of the day, my nigga, you still chose to fucking go do that. You feel me? Like, come on, foe. On me. Did you ever get scared of any shit, you guys man. shooting your dick off when you pass, when you put the gun, like, right here? There's some, uh, Cheddar Bob bad shit. <laughs> like I said, Cheddar Bob bad right. shit. That fucking tap, main hey, tap. We out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like growing up in that type of situation. You reap what you sow. Like you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street, your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You could be the legit business guy too. If you right. move those street skills into entrepreneurship i think you're gonna have a safer more sustainable lifestyle next folks heavy g an entrepreneur in st louis who's quite a character we'll see you there so he we're here with the st louis legend heavy g a big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship what do you got cooking up over here my food truck right here selling uh rotel that's, that's, that's st louis like some nachos type that's shit good. and we sell my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been doing this shit for one year as of last month. So this is my one year anniversary. It look bottle. like drink, but it ain't, ain't what you think. think. This is my newest flavor, I want you to try this. It look like drink, but it ain't what you think. Far, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did. Big you want to get some big drink and shit. <laughs> and I started selling the sodas hey, for twenty dollars. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying some Fagos. And the stock actually went up ten percent within the thirty days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know. So own it, own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it because you know the Fago sodas was two dollars. So like, I got then see then, chat. You gonna have smart ass niggas in your hood like this nigga that smart as hell know how to get money. You feel me? And hopefully you got a nigga like this in your hood. You feel me? That knows how to get money and plays the smart. I make right? all that money back that I miss. So I'm making mine 25, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the rotel really? right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> it's fire. Them man, this our call. This is what we do. We eat, we eat rotel, take bitches to the hotel, and make sure you <laughs> get <laughs> Who fucks in the hotel at the Dirty's Hill? This fucking no hotel. Don't no fucking no hotel, chat. That shit dirty as hell. Ew. Hell no. Ew. It's the best exotic store hotel, in the Midwest. St. Louis, Missouri, the he's, Midwest. That's what I'm saying, folks. This nigga said, what? It's lemonade the most expensive in the world? How much is that shit? That turn look good. Oh, it do look good. I'm standing on it. This the five dollar like, table right here. This for the This nigga really dance guy's own business. I'm actually proud of this. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the skittles without the shell. Crazy. Uh, that's what they selling in here. How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Cause I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling Thanks. me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, it'll cost an epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. This costs $25. 25. Regular lemonade. That is 20. crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You will never get this taste anywhere right. else. Damn, it's definitely delicious. But if I were to tell my wife, honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade. Imagine I just spending like a damn near $30 on a bottle of fucking lemonade. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm spending, if I'm spending $30 on a bottle of fucking lemonade, boy, Hey, that bitch, that shit better give me like infinite fucking stamina. That shit better fucking, uh, boy, that's, this shit better. <laughs> That shit better fucking make me strong as I don't know. Damn, that 30 bottles for a bottle of lemonade, fool. What the fuck? I think I'd be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand too. Okay, I'm shout out Sweet together. Cheeks, okay? What's yeah, like shout out Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, like, <laughs> What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, it's right? Yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than ups, but you gotta fight through it. We gotta go get this food, man. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Chinese restaurant. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination plate with St. Paul. 
Oh my granny. Oh, yeah. Out of all these, which one you think you gonna like? First Come chicken. Pile. You gotta go. No, 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 no. Yeah. Now you are officially a St. Louis nigga. I know. Wait, wait. He gotta get this shit. Don't be fooled. This is where it go down there. This side of town. Does it surprise you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Are we really good? Oh, he knows the truth. <laughs> Yeah, the next day, the Heavy G village. sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad. An immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. Damn. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two. Like we always be in competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not on their phone or not just posted up somewhere, like just sitting outside. Because there's, there's, there's a lot of people that live so much of their life just on their phone. The Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's why it's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going yeah, on regardless. Any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun, and you can just have get a gun at 18, 19. It's Jim good as far as all niggas. these niggas on that, so you everybody can legally have a gun. And So the playing field is equal, at least. Yeah, damn right. Y'all good. Oh my God. I already just heard I that shit. Up my whole childhood. I just heard that shit. That's I'm gonna have to get this intersection tattooed on me. I used to sit on that motherfucker every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. All the niggas been died down here. A lot of niggas been trapped down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous Damn to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't gonna lie. The only this nigga walking with a whole AR, he with a fucking drum attached to that motherfucker. I think this is what, it's like a 60 or like a 100 round drum on that bitch too, god damn. Person that could, that could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie, the ops probably didn't roll past us since we've been out here. But they know I'm out here and see the type of shit I'm doing, they'll call it out like it wouldn't be nothing. But. That's actually fucking crazy. Yes, yes, you probably gonna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? Mm. Vehicle looks to be cutting through the back alleys right now. Oh, so fast. Some here. Hey, some here. The child. Mine. Oh, what the fuck your name? What? What? How the fuck? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Still, double double seven, folks. What you want? I've seen you a while. What the fuck? But what up, double seven? I've seen your ass in a while. How you doing, gang? How life intrigue you? The chopper. Yeah, people are really be in a car running away from the helicopter. Yeah. Yes. No. Won't tell no. See what I'm on. Them niggas really shooting, G. What the fuck? Going so fast, it, ra Yo! it outran the chopper. Yeah, people are really be in a car running away from a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. I should go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you get hit? Good news, I didn't get hit. Oh. Oh, well, I just saying, don't know it. You ain't spoiled it. I, I kind of knew it was fake. I'm like, oh, okay, so this is. Okay, this is just Tommy. What the fuck is this? LA? No, this is St. Louis, folk. Yo, this nigga did all this shit just for a fucking promo for this stupid ass vest. Hey, good news for you. You have a chance to win Yo. this autographed bulletproof vest. Purchase a t shirt on the site. I got all these new cool shirts. They look like this. He did all that shit for a promo. You a bitch ass nigga. You purchase the shirt, you have the chance to win this. Let the odds be in your favor. And now back to the video. Motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at arm out the window, flagging them down. Kevin Bush. Police have to ride deep around here, right? What do you even do on shirt time in here? I'm here. You're just reacting. Um, well. Double O, I'm gonna be real with you. I play games sometimes. Mortal Kombat finna come out. We finna play that bitch. I just got through playing Resident Evil like what, like a month and a half, two months ago. You just be missing every time you playing games. I just finished Resident Evil. That shit just happened. Finna play Mortal Kombat in like what, in a week or two when that shit come out. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I mostly react because I mean, there's no fucking games out. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> no fucking games out. But I play games, gang. You feel me? I play games. You just be missing. 
I was playing scary games a few months ago. I got through playing Resident Evil now. I'm glad to play Mortal Kombat. There's no way they can play Spider Man. Like, come on, folks. Why y'all keep doing this? There's the young guys that get the wrong attention. Game has been so dryly. That's fucking facts. Oh my god, that's so fucking facts. For listen, like I said, I know, but don't get me wrong. You is right, Double Son. Don't worry. I'm not mad at you saying because you're right. I do react most of the time because, like I said, there's nothing to play. Like I don't know what the fuck to do. It's just all these games dry as hell. Like you know, ain't no games to play. I wish it was. How old is the average kid when they but, get their first you know, trap that shit go. Entering your teams, 13, 14. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody wants shit, to I ain't gonna lie to y'all niggas, folks. Speaking of getting shot at, look. Come from Chicago, that shit just bound to happen to you, folks. I'm telling you right now, I can tell y'all niggas about so many stories about just like me, like at the court, or like me just on the block, and niggas bending down that bitch, trying to hit other niggas and bullets flying past you and shit. Like, <laughs> that shit. I'm just lucky. I'm still fucking here, though. You know? You feel me? That's just how shit go. I usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot today. I wore the f***ing Nikes for a reason. Put on your feet, you want to raise down? Dude, I'm a, I got a pretty quick 40 yards. Oh, when I get through you can find it. Go against the good snake. Yeah, that's facts, boy. You know it's so crazy. Gaming is never going to be like how it used to be years ago, back in the day and shit. Never. The old cod, fucking just anything really. Like, it used to be, I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's just no games no more. No scary games. Niggas say slow ass. Hold on, let's watch this race, chat. Let's go. Thinking, but I'm thinking folks finna like take the fuck up. This nigga took like three fucking steps. Like, he just, look, this nigga just done. Look, he's just like, all right, folks, I'm done. Look, folks, so, hey, big folks took about like three steps, for and he, he just said, no, nah, folks, I'm finished, fuck. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? All right, folks, this was an event that was with a, the same that little fucking, that race shit shot. wasn't even no fucking race. Sticks to like three steps. Man, be yourself. You won't need no help. Hell no, bro. All right, folks. We'll see you next week. Probably the most steps I think All right, folks. We got a badass merch drop for you and the chance to win a bulletproof vest. Who's doing that? We got, these are two new designs. Go get that, check. Go get y'all bulletproof vest. Be safe, out We got black. We got the streetwear design. Big dog got to eat. We got the blue. We got the black. You roll through the city wearing this, dude? Come on. Purchase any t-shirt from the shop. I'll be honest with you, Tommy, I with you, but I'm not fucking wearing that shit. And you're entered to win a bulletproof vest. I'll see you guys at TommyGMcGee.com. You recently just played Outlast 4. I know what Outlast is, but I've been playing that shit literally when the day it came out. <laughs> Years ago. When did Outlast come out? 2013 or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> I played Outlast 1 and 2 and the DLC. <laughs> I been finished that shit. Niggas must be independent. Don't need no nigga nor bitch for shit, so don't come to me tripping. I don't know if you play Outlast 2, but you need to play that shit. You know me personally, Outlast 1 is way better than Outlast 2. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to watch another, here. That's actually true, folks. Outlast still holds up good to this here. fucking day. See you next week. I know Outlast got a fucking like, little like, multiplayer or some shit game out there. Okay, WV by Tommy G. Okay, that's a, you no know, WV by Tommy G. I really hope them niggas got the hood, and I really hope them niggas found some purpose, man. Again, it's sad out your chat. It's sad to see all out your. You feel me? Gotta see shit like that. You know, motherfuckers growing up in the trenches and shit is never good. All right, anyway. Oh fuck, man. Fuck the trenches though. That shit is not fun to grow up in, chat. And I'm gonna keep on telling y'all that shit. Stop trying to glorify the hood, because that shit ain't fun. The Pika 4 games was Outlast 